Matthew 7 and 12. This is the law and the prophets. Amen. Do unto others what you will bring them unto you. Amen. Galatians 6 and 12. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. So, bear each other's burdens. Yeah. Help one another. <coughs> Amen. There's a story here that proved that has a, I guess you would call it the lesson of the story, is that. A rat looked through a crack in the wall to see the farmer and his wife opening a package. What food might it contain? He was aghast to discover that it was a rat trap. Retreating to the farmyard, the rat proclaimed the warning, There's a rat trap in the house, a rat trap in the house. The chicken clucked and scratched raised her head and said, Excuse me, Mr. Rat, I can tell this is a grave concern to you, but it is of no consequence to me. I cannot be bothered by it. The rat <coughs> turned to the pig and told him, There's a rat trap in the house, a rat trap in the house. I'm so very sorry, Mr. Rat, simple, yeah, said <coughs> the pig, but there is nothing I can do about it but pray. Be assured that you are in my prayers. The rat turned to the cow. She said, like, well, Mr. Cat, a rat trap. I am in grave danger. Duh. So the rat returned to the house, head down and dejected, to face the farmer's rat trap alone. The very night, a sound was heard throughout the house, like the sound of a rat trap catching its prey. The farmer's wife rushed to see what was caught. In the darkness, she did not see it was a venomous snake whose tail the trap had caught. The snake bit the farmer's wife. The farmer rushed into the hospital. She returned home with a fever. Now everyone knows you treat a fever with fresh chicken soup. So the farmer took his hatchet to the farmyard to, for the soup's main ingredient. Amen. His wife's sickness continued so that, so that friends and neighbors came to sit with her around the clock. To feed them, the farmer butchered the pig. The farmer's wife did not get well. She died. And so many people came to her for a funeral that the farmer had the cow slaughtered to provide meat for all of them to eat. So the next time you hear someone facing a problem and think that it does not concern you, remember that when there is a rat trap in the house, the whole farmyard is at risk. Amen. Amen. Levit Leviticus 19 and 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Luke 10, 26-37 He said unto him, What is written in the law? How, how readest thou? And he answered, saying, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, the neighbor, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right, this do <coughs> thou shalt live. But he, willing to justify himself, said unto Jesus, And who is my neighbor? And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among the thieves, which stripped him of his right raiment, and wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by the other side. But a good Samaritan, but a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. When he, and when he saw him, he had compassion on him, and went to him, and bound up his wounds, pouring in oil and wine, <coughs> and set him on his own beast, and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. <clears throat> on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto him, 
Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that, that fell among thieves? And he said, He that showed mercy on him. Then said Jesus unto him, Go and do thou likewise. Amen. Care for one another. Yeah. You have to... You have to care for one another. Amen. When someone's down, you got to help them back up. Come on, amen. amen. Give the Lord a hand clap. Amen. Amen.